Hi guys, it's Cheryl here, and thank you for joining me for another process video. So, um, this is my last video for the month of May. Um, let's see. So for this video, I am using the leftover from the first cast haul I used on my first process video this month. So um, actually, uh, I used the same. I used the cut file um, for three different layouts, which is a really you know um, great thing if you don't have you know a lot of pattern papers or um, you don't have a lot. You don't ha you don't have like, any idea what kind of a layout you want to do. So so this is um, the banners that were kind of a leftover from the cast file itself. I didn't want to throw it away um, like I did with the previous layout. And what I'm doing right now is I'm using my Copic markers and I'm just kind of outlining some of them and um, doing some different patterns. I'm using a pale green, uh, hot pink, and a pale pur purple. Um, so for this layout, I'm going to be using this background. This is from the um, Hip Kit. Yes, I think it's from this Hip Kit Club. I think um, it was under November, November Kit. Something that has to do with Christmas, I think. Uh, I'm not really sure, but this is a really old pattern paper. Uh, I just had it in my stash, and I really wanted to use it, so there you go. Um, the colors were a little bit um, too much, <laughs> so I used the my gesso to kind of you know hide it a little bit, but I wanted to show it at the same time, if that makes sense. And now I'm just letting it dry. So I'm using this uh, pink paisley paper pattern paper. It's from their older collection. I'm not really sure what's the name. I think it's from their Take Me Away collection, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm gonna cut a fuzzy cut some um, windows from here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build some. Kind of like a mixture of these windows on my background. And as you can see, uh, <laughs> this is a mixture. And I'm using my uh, dad's photo to for the scrapbook. I have like so many pictures of my dad because he likes to take lots of pictures. More than <laughs> my mom and I. He just likes pictures. So this is picture here in Volendam in the Netherlands. In, when uh, we were on vacation and there were like a lot of like houses and something that we don't see a lot here in Israel like like those uh, really old houses so I think those windows were kind of great I think that's the really closest thing that I had to houses um, so that was kind of the, the idea of the layout and I didn't make it a little bit colorful. It was very hard for me to actually make it look like a little bit masculine layout. Since I don't really do a lot of masculine layout, I don't have any, um, you know, brothers or um, pictures of, you know, uh, relatives that are male. <laughs> um, so I quite have a lot of pictures of my dad, so I'll try to do more masculine um, layouts. But he was okay with me making this colorful layout. He was like, it's okay, you don't have to do you know, masculine uh, layout with green and black and blue. He was okay that there was like a pop of pink and purple and some kind of uh, <laughs> yellow colors there. So now I'm just uh, adhering the windows <clears throat> and the banners itself 
Uh, I placed two banners on the top, if you can see, the green and the purple. And underneath the photo, I put some uh, white doilies. And, and the banners itself, uh, the one that I colored in the beginning of the video, I'm going to be placing on the layout next to the windows. They're, they won't form really like a long, big banners. Um, they're kind of like strays and just going to put them underneath uh, the window on top of the windows because I didn't want it to put it in one place I wanted to put it in different places or in a layout so now I'm agreeing all the pieces after I figure out what I wanted to do with this layout and toward here everything I'm using my Zeek pencil that is like my favorite glue pen. Did I say pencil? I mean glue pen. I'm working so much in the computer. Um, if you don't know, pencil is uh, a tool that you use in Illustrator, which is a graphic <laughs> software that designers use. I just use too many too much uh, a pencil recently so that's why I keep saying pencil but what I'm saying is actually a glue pen okay um, this glue pen is like perfect for you know sticking like small stuff into your layout and um, sequins just really small stuff and it dries it's transparent it dries clear and it's really strong adhesive so I really love this pen I have like 10 pens okay am I I have like five pens <laughs> um, but I keep buying every time I go to the craft store because it's something that I really use a lot and it's you know my must-have supplies one of my must-have supplies so if you're looking for a glue pen that is perfect for sequence and just adhering um, small stuff to your layout, you should try this pen. It's just, it can change your life. Well, not really, but it can help a little bit. <laughs> so now I'm bidding my title and I didn't want it to go straight. So I just, um, I just adhered the, the title, The Adventure. Um, along the according to the doily itself the shape of the doily which kind of like ended <laughs> underneath the photo so I had to kind of make an illusion that it was like circle and um, the wood veneer shape the best is from the is from it's from freckle fun and in order to hear that I'm using I'm using the Aline's. I hope I'm saying it correctly. Aline's original tacky glue. This is a really, really good glue. And I saw it on my local craft store and it was really expensive, but a lot of people did recommend it, uh, this glue and it's really good. And I seriously, I don't have. Uh, I don't have any more from that glue. I have to go back to the local craft store to buy some. So for now, I'm relying on my double-sided tape and my Zig glue pen for now. Um, so now what I'm doing is I'm using uh, this Chevron's cork pieces from the Fickle Mom Scraps and for the sequins because I wrote it down um, I use the gun with the wind sequence and jaded hearts I kind of mix with between them because there were a lot of blue and greens um, I did try to kind of put a little bit of masculine colors like the green and blue um, but it ended up just looking like a colorful um, layout just because of the windows 
So I really didn't succeed in making masculine layout, um, but my dad was really happy with this layout, so that was the important thing. And I liked it as well, of course. So now I'm adhering uh, the pieces. Oh no, actually I'm using um, my Sakura gel pen. This is the metallic one, the metallic pen. I use it in blue and green shades. And I use them to outline the chevron so, you, so it can kind of uh, give it like a different um, feel or vibe. However you want to call it. And this is the end of the layout. So thank you very much for joining me. And I hope to see you in next time. And I wish you a lovely day. Bye.